Chapter 3, Weird, Weak, Howard Attack. Explaining transgender again. Transgender labels are very confusing. I keep it simple and tell my kids, transgender is gay in girls' clothing. <laughs> Daughter asks, does that mean Shakespeare was transgender because he always dressed like girls in his plays? I say, I don't know if Shakespeare was transgender, but I know Kevin Spacey is gay about lunging at Othello in tights. Beyonce is king. Do you remember Beyonce sitting at the national anthem during the Super Bowl before J-Lo put her kids in fake news cages and banged a stripper pole in front of 100 million worldwide hoping Ben Affleck would drunk doll her again? At the same time, the Queen of England was watching the Super Bowl on the telly at Buckingham Palace two stiff gin and tonics later, and the Queen of England says to her royal bartender, and I thought Meghan Markle was a royal pain in the ass. Can I get a holla for A-plus studded Jemry from top to bottom, and the best is yet to come. Holla! Thank you very much! Essential... Baby boomer abortions. The Archbishop of New York just said, the left wing is snotty over my dealings with Trump. Off the record, the Archbishop tells a reporter at Breitbart, I never believed in essential abortions for baby boomers until Trump became president because baby boomer arrogance never dies. Like father, like son. My wife says, baby gets bored whenever he spends too much time with me. I always knew he was a quick learner. Kevin McHale lives three unplanned kids later. It's safe to say I never mastered the art of the pump fake. Resist this, Roger Waters. One kid only means your diaphragm is for walls after all. Stay at home, Rabbi. I stopped smoking weed after I thought my kids were asleep already because it would take me forever to answer my daughter's questions. On the weed, after I thought she was asleep already, my daughter asks, Daddy, if God created the universe, then who created God? Eventually, I say, God went back in time in a time machine made by Elon Musk. Daughter says, real convincing, Dad. Thanks for making me an atheist at four. Three kids is brave. God didn't give me three unplanned kids to have a panic attack over it. Obviously, God never had the same confidence in Pete Davidson. The voice of Generation Z, the boy toy rebound king of Staten Island. Virtual grandparents. Before kids would really piss my parents off because it would make them feel less essential. Especially after Facebook made baby boomers the laziest, most hands-off grandparent generation of all time. Lifting a finger is liking a picture on Facebook. Sperm implanter or sperm terminator? That is the question. But I'm afraid of getting a vasectomy because I don't want my ball sack to feel like Edward Scissorhands' face. Don Jr. problems. The more I hear Don Jr. talk, I don't like him. Waiting it out in my cabin with Kimberly Guilfoyle could be worse, he says. Very true, Don Jr. But then yeah, it's been challenging. What's challenging exactly? Having to put ice on your super soaker until you can reload enough gunky gook to titty blast her again as your ex-wife cares for your four kids back in their 10-bedroom apartment in Manhattan overlooking Central Park East? I don't get it. <laughs> Has been hack attack. Weird week Howard sounds like a bigger, dumber, fake hack puppet pawn, non-critical thinking, reactionary, uppity cunt breath more than ever before, insisting on a satellite radio program nobody gives a shit about anymore, that Trump supporters should take disinfectant and drop dead. Even if they did, Howard, it won't erase the fact that you divorced your wife for a 6.2 by ghoulish tranny standards, but whatever it takes to ensure you still get invited to Jimmy Kimmel's place for more two-bite chicken parm dinners. And Howard, enough with your jealous and shrouded beyond played out spiel about how Trump doesn't even want to be president. It's not Trump's fault you're not the king of social media anymore, not that you ever were in the first place. Good job turning the cold shoulder, resulting in Artie Lang's nose, turning to a piece of folded Capicola. Also, I thought 
All of your psychoanalysis made you less of an easily jealous, ego-divorced, uppity bitch who in retrospect only made fun of the death that Peter Chris from Kiss because you only cared about shocking the world into good ratings to beat Marble Mouth, mouth Imus. You were so much cooler when you were more transparent about the egotistical asshole you were and always will be, making fun of Billy Crystal and the golden Jew Adam Sandler because they were guilty of being way funnier, smarter, talented, and infinitely punchier than you'll ever be. Regardless of Jackie the Joke Man or the Rev Bob Levy, we're getting paid a pittance to force feed you bit ideas to give off the impression you're more evolved, edgy, deep than you are in real life, perm head. Trump doesn't even want to be president. Yeah. And you don't want to be embraced by middle America and be loved the way he is, despite your blatant attempt to reach that plateau during your cute, rebranding, edgeless little stint on America's Got Talent jerk off. Dice has funnier F bomb mic checks than you're capable of uttering about during your lesbian lust inquiries and your wildest dreams. Resisting unsolicited parenting advice. I hate women who give me unsolicited advice whenever I'm out in public with my three kids because they're being passive-aggressive buzzkills who never get anyone high off their presence alone ever. I'm in the process of putting a mask on my three-year-old before entering a fancy cheese shop in the burbs because I'm grooming shishi bitches on the rise, and I hear, the mask is covering his eyes. I blurt out, don't act like you're a must-see star attraction all of a sudden, babe. I've been entertaining three kids for three summers in a row with no centralized AC or virtual grandparents in sight and loving almost every second of it. So when your blah brain hubby starts to outshine you in the parenting department, it means you're a more annoying cunt than you give yourself credit for, babe. If you had big tits, it would at least soften the blow of you trying to categorize me as a bumbling jerk up putz who can't tell whether I'm getting my son ready to enter a store post-corona for an overpriced grilled cheese with gooey gruyere or for a pinata smack off in the barrio for pre-k diversity training day unlike your emotionally unavailable dad i don't treat my three kids like shameful resurgent herpes sores on the spot i make sure my kids feel like the center of my universe instead of the reverse so when they get older they won't turn to drugs or promiscuous sex with annoying chicken heads like yourself to rebel against a chillingly indifferent dad that never gave them a fighting chance to become somebody to believe in. Yeah, yeah! Yeah. Mm -hmm.